Hello vloggers, what's going on? Good evening. I'm shooting this at uh, 6.24 at night on Sunday and I figured I'd need to shoot something for the vlog channel and I thought I'd do like a little behind the scenes uh, thing going on uh, in my stealth camper in Rusty and uh, it was nice driving down the highway uh, with the no vibration. Um, there's one one point where I had to pull off to get a coffee, and when I came back on, as I was accelerating to merge with traffic, there were two tr um, pickup trucks with horse trailers, and there was a ton of space between them. And as I came on, the first one passed, and then I started to speed up to get in, but the other guy would not let me in. So, so I had to kind of floor it to get past them. So I got it up to about 120 just to get around them and uh, zero vibrations in the steering wheel. So I'm extremely happy with that repair. And again, <laughs> thanks for watching all these videos because uh, all, the, all the money that the, uh, the vlog channel is, is making is going to help pay for all the repairs of Moose. Um, and I did read a lot of your comments uh, about like, you know, rep repairing my own brakes. I used to do it. I used to, um, when I had the Echo, did I do it before the Echo? I think it was just the Echo it was the only car that I would do the brakes. Um, like every, you know, every two years or whatever. Uh, Cause I'd buy like the cheapest, I had no money back then. And uh, so I'd buy the, the cheapest pads, the cheapest um, rotors, the cheapest everything. And, uh, a buddy of mine taught me how to do my own brakes. Steve, you guys know Steve. He did the the coffee snobs video with Paul and I, and uh, he's been in a couple other vlogs here and there. Nice guy, super. I, I he's definitely one of my top five friends um, that I have that I always talk to and uh, always call and take him out for his birthday, and he takes me out for my birthday. So good, good friend, and uh, he was. Um, he used to race cars and so he knows a lot about cars and I asked him one time if he could teach me how to do my own brakes because obviously you guys know how much it costs well probably a lot of you know how much it costs to get brakes done if you don't know how to do them yourself um so I saved a lot of money in the past and I guess I should try and save some now right why why keep getting um mechanics to fix my stuff that I can do obviously I couldn't do transmission things and and uh complicated electrical systems but and that door I can't do that door I watched a video on it somebody said I oh, just do your own door <laughs> the video I watched of a guy tearing apart like he knew how to do it but you literally have to tear the door apart like not just the paneling it's the paneling and this and this and this to get to the actuator to replace it. The actuator is like 230 bucks. And, uh, you know, if it was an easy fix, I would do it. And I would definitely buy both of them and have my doors open. I'd like to have the, the bed back on that side. Uh, I preferred it over there. I'm not sure why I liked it that way. I think it's because I, I could get out of my door there and then come in this door. I really enjoyed that um, when, I, when I used to have that door open. And uh, this was my kind of like locked door, all the permanently locked. And, um, but anyway, so the video I watched of the guy doing that, I'm like, there's no way. Like, it's so complicated. Uh, I would forget how to put it back together again. And uh, so that's, you know, we're talking about possibly finding a, an auto wrecker. And, you know, if you could find a, a van that's, you know, has front end damage, but both doors are totally fine and there's no rust on them, you know, uh, I think I got a quote for that back. I got two quotes, one quote for that door. And I'm not sure if it was the quote was just for the door, the hatch, let's call it, um, or the, 
buying the hatch and then installing it. It was $1,800 for that. And uh, like I bought this van for 4,800 bucks and there's no way I want to put an $1,800 door in the back. And then um, when we we're getting Ben's car tuned up, um, I asked the people at that place, uh, do they have any connections to auto records? And he said, oh yeah, we can get parts. And I'm like, okay, well I have this 2011 um, Dodge, or so I guess it's Chrysler um, Town and Country. Uh, and I would like a back hatch. I'd like to get these two doors because um, I'd rather buy two new doors or not new doors, but two doors, you know, I might, might be able to get a door for 200 bucks. Like, I don't know. So he gave me a call back. He didn't give me a price on either of these doors. He found a hatch though, 250 bucks. I'm not sure what year it was, but it would fit this vehicle. And the other thing too, is the other quote I got for $1,800. It was a 2017 town and country that would fit this and I think it was black, which would be fine. I, I don't mind putting black doors on my car. I think it would be kind of funny with all these different colors of doors on the van. It would definitely be uh, um, an eye catcher for people to, to spot me. Um, but somebody spotted me today um, for where I am. I don't want to tell you guys where I am because this video is going to go out before I leave. You guys are going to see this video and it's going to go out before I leave um, this area. And I... You know, I really don't like people knowing where I am live. Um, that's why I've stopped kind of doing live shows from, I think the last live show I did was in Ottawa and people found me, right? Because, you know, a person that lived in, I think the person lived in Winnipeg, but his brother lived in Ottawa and he like phones his brother up, Ken's downtown and he's at this place. And so, you know, these guys came running up to me and, and uh, it kind of freaked me out a bit. And I, I loved it. I love meeting you guys um, when when it's when I invite you or uh, if, if I say I, I'd like to do a meetup at the Tickle Toad or wherever. When I know I'm going to meet people, uh, I, don't, I don't mind it. When, when I'm out and about and you come running up to me, it's a little spooky. <laughs> and I go, ha! Ah. <laughs> uh, I'm sure you can uh, imagine that, but... But again, I've met a lot of people uh, out and about. So like in airports and shopping malls, we, I just got recognized um, at the Pacific Mall. The gentleman in there recognized me. And uh, so that was really cool. And he goes, where do I know you from? And I'm like, YouTube. <laughs> He's like, Ken Domic. And I'm like, yep, because I knew it. He just didn't want to say it just in case he was wrong. Now, actually, I think when I said Ken Domic, he goes, no. I go, yeah, he goes, my dad and I watch you all the time. He's a, he a, a young adult, but he, he wasn't young, young, but, and him and his dad work in the shop, so it was nice meeting him. Again, I don't mind you guys meeting me, but when I'm doing a live show, it's just kind of bizarre. So anyway, and, and if I released this and told you guys where I was, uh, you know, anybody that lives in the area might come, and then it's, and, it, and it's not that I don't want to meet you guys, it's I, I'm working, and I'm trying to get this job done so I can get home and edit it and put it up for you guys. And when I meet you, uh, and, and this is where, uh, I guess what I'm trying to say comes from when I meet fans, I'll talk to them for two hours, no problem. And, but when I'm working and I'm trying to get a job done by a specific time, uh, that will affect. Uh, so uh, when I went to New York city, when I went to Boston, you know, I know a lot of fans live in those areas but I didn't have time to do a meetup or, or go visit people um, because I would I would like blow easily two hours sitting down, talking with you, having a drink, a coffee, whatever. Um, but so, yeah, that's a big ramble for you today. Uh, it's today when it, this, when I got here, it was uh, 26 degrees Celsius outside in the van. It was uh at one point, the van, because that thing was, uh, I guess, on the da near the dashboard, it was it said it was 40 in here, but that's because it was in the direct sun. But once it cooled down, uh, it dropped to like 35, 36 uh, degrees inside. And when you stepped, like after I'd eat some food and step outside, it was like, whoo, it's nice and cool outside compared to what's inside here. Even though I had the windows open, I had the sunroof open, I had the heater out, I had this fan going, and, uh, but... Now it's like 26.5 degrees Celsius. So it's, 
it's a little humid in here right now because of the because it's raining and I can't have the windows open. Um, I did have the windows open when I was inside and started pouring torrential downpour, and I'm like, oh, I hope I didn't leave my windows open. And, and the guy ran around. And he goes, he goes, let me tell you, because he had a he has like a side uh, door and he knew which car I came from, so he po poked his head and he said, yep, your windows are open like this much. It was this one, so this was the worst because it got all my um, uh, these things, my window coverings all soaked, and my bed got wet, but it's all dry now. So, um, but now it's raining again. So, um, oh, it's it's not. Oh, it stopped. Good. I can open the windows again. Anyway, I just wanted to do this. Oh, hopefully, this is a short vlog. I don't know. How. I'm also using my my watch as my uh, camera monitor. That's cool. Look at this. So I can see where the camera's pointing. I don't have to go around to the other side because I don't have the camera monitor pointing this way. The wide end, the wide angle lens on the, on this side of the uh, 14 Pro Plus uh, Apple phone, um, uh, it's better to use this. And uh, and um, I can start and stop. And I can take a picture. I can actually take a picture right now. Look. I just took a picture. Nice. Uh, I've never done that before. I just noticed that there's a little button there for photograph. Uh, right now we're um, recording. So thank you guys uh, very much for watching these vlogs. Um, like I said, it's, it's helping us out a lot. Uh, I'm trying to do, trying to come up with fun kind of things to do with you guys. Uh, obviously cooking is a little bit of an issue uh, for some people. But I'll, I'll keep continuing pumping out daily vlogs. Whatever I can find to do and show you guys and bring you along, I'm going to do that. Somebody asked to go on a, a Costco shopping spree. Uh, so that's in the back of my head. I'll, I'll make sure I do a Costco thing. Just keep uh, leaving comments, uh, thumbsing up the videos. Every time you watch a video, thumbs it up. And then please leave a comment. It makes the algorithm love my videos and pushes out to more people and we can grow this uh, channel a little bit more and grow the community and um but leave a comment on things you want to see and i'll try to get around to it i'll try to shout you out if i can remember who um commented on it. if i can't remember I'll, I'll try and find the comment and uh like f capture it and then put it into the video um just because it's, it's hard to remember all the comments and names that go along with those comments anyway so it is uh what time is it now uh i think it's like 6 30 uh is it 6 30 yeah i think it's 6 30 6 35 maybe and uh that's what i like about this car it's got a it's got the analog and it's got the digital clock so when the car is off the analog clock um it's always there and it's, so you can always tell what time it is anyway so i just wanted to do this short vlog for you guys informational update and uh we'll see you guys i don't know what i'm gonna shoot tomorrow i'm gonna go through your comments and find something to do for you guys tomorrow on the way home after i finish up this 24 hour stealth camp but thanks for hanging out talk to you guys later bye oh i can shut you off with this watch bye